Hey folks, today we're gonna to be making the classic Chicago Italian beef sandwich, but instead of beef, we're gonna be using venison and moose. I don't know about you, but I love sandwiches. I got my love for sandwiches from my Nono, who would make every meal into a sandwich. This recipe is really easy. It takes a little bit of time for the braising, but it really couldn't be any easier. Today, we're gonna to be using a deer neck roast and also a front shoulder moose roast. First, we'll get our burner turned to medium high and get a big cast iron Dutch oven on the flame. While that warms up, we're gonna season our meat heavily with salt and pepper. After everything is seasoned, get a good amount of oil in the pot. I'm using sunflower oil today. We just wanna brown the meat in this step. The browning is gonna add some big flavors to this dish, so don't skip this step. Keep an eye on it. As it browns, just flip the meat around to get as much of it browned as possible. Once it's all browned, remove the meat and set it aside. Turn the heat down to medium and add some more oil if needed. Toss in your onions, garlic, and rosemary and stir everything together. The salt and pepper that's fallen off from the meat will actually season everything here. We just wanna cook this for a few minutes, stir here and there. The next ingredient we're gonna add is this pickled pepper from Italy. It's called a pepperoncini. They're really sweet and full of flavor and they have a little bit of spice. So we've gone ahead and we've cut out all the stems and the seeds out of most of the peppers. We're gonna add the peppers and all the juices that came in into the pot. Next, add a can of mushrooms and all the liquid as well. Throw some whole peppercorns in, turn the heat up to high, and stir everything up. Now add the meat back to the pot and add enough beef stock so at least half of the meat is covered. Once this comes to a boil, turn the heat down to low and cover it with a tight-fitting lid. This spray should take about three to four hours. All right, the meat is all done. Let's take a look at this. What did I tell you? just pulls right apart. All we got left to do is shred all the meat up and mix it back with the liquid. Now grab a bun and butter it up. Add a few slices of provolone cheese and a big stack of pulled meat on top. Look at that beauty. Thanks for watching. We hope you give this a try the next time you're craving a hot sandwich.